Hi cuties, my name is Hanako Kozumi and this is the channel Nerdy Nekoma. Everything here is about Haiku Jet stories and fanfic. Thanks for joining us today. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and leaving a like. Today's video is a Boko Aka Kuroken fluff one shot. It's unrelated to my Boko Aka Kuroken series Fragile. And it actually started as a headcanon on my Instagram where I asked you guys if I should make it a video. You said yes, I make the video and I hope you like it. <laughs> It started as a harmless joke. Nothing serious, just the usual bickering between Kuro and Bokuto. Bokuto was leaning on the kitchen counter, observing the smallest of his boyfriends playing Mario Kart in the living room. Bo, you're practically drooling. You know, if you only give Ken my attention, I might get jealous. Kuro gave Bokuto a playful nudge in his side before kissing him on the cheek. He chuckled as the other continued to stare at their boyfriend. Normally, it was fairly easy to gain Bokoto's attention, but occasionally he was so intrigued by something that for a few minutes he'd barely register anything around him. However, after letting Kuro's words sink in... Wait! No? His head snapped up and he looked at Kuro, shocked. I don't like Ken... I mean, I don't just like Kenma... Not more. I mean, I like you too. I mean, equally. I... Um... I'm sorry. Hey, Ko, Ko, Ko. It's alright. I'm just messing with you. Kuro smirked and Bokuto's expression slowly shifted from shocked to pouting. He turned around again and crossed his arms, sulking. Cute. Kuro mumbled the word and found himself blushing as he observed the ace. He gently placed a hand on Bokoto's shoulder. Hey, Ko? No reply. I'm sorry. Please, don't ignore me. The ace twitched slightly and Kuro knew he was close to giving in. Please? He said, emphasizing every bit of the word and choosing his best pleading voice. Fine. He turned around and opened his arms. Oh, you want a hug? Kuro's tone was teasing. The other's expression darkened and Kuro quickly closed the distance between them. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just teasing. He pulled him closer and placed little kisses on his neck. The skin warmed underneath his touch and Kuro could tell without looking at the other that Bokuto was blushing as well. A small groan escaped the ace. Two strong arms wrapped the former middle blocker in a tight embrace and he felt the faint touch of a pair of lips against his ear. I forgive you. Kuro chuckled again and pulled away. They kissed deeply before separating. I love you, Tetsuro. The younger looked at him surprised. Oh, I know. Bokuto huffed. I'm serious. Me too. Kuro smirked. Besides, I understand. Kenma is just too cute. He's irresistible. Okuto nodded. Especially in hoodies. Especially in hoodies. They looked at each other, smiled, and burst out laughing. Yeah, and especially in my hoodies. Oh sure, and why is that? Because I'm taller than you now. The bigger the hoodie, the cuter. We are wearing the same size. You're just two centimeters taller. That's nothing. 
It's not. I bet he's wearing my hoodies more often. Oh, you want to bet? Okay, we'll count. Each time he wears one of our hoodies for the next weeks. I'm in. This is an easy win for me. Ha, <laughs> you wish. I... What is this about? Kenma suddenly appeared behind Bokoto with an empty Makan hat. He seemed tired, but Kuro still recognized the familiar look in his eyes. Observing and analyzing. Nothing, kitten. Just a small bed between me and Kautaro. A sly grin spread on Kuro's face as he lied effortlessly. Bokuto, on the other hand, had no such nonchalance and just tried his best not to look suspicious. He failed miserably. Mm -hmm. Kenma looked first at Kuro, then at Bokuto, who still avoided eye contact to the best of his abilities before slowly walking away, mumbling something on the lines of such idiots. After Kuro heard the bedroom door close upstairs, he burst out laughing. You are really bad at this. Bokuto pouted again, but said nothing. However, after the other lap, for a total of two minutes, he playfully tackled Kuro to shut him up, accidentally knocking both of them to the ground. A loud noise echoed through the house, but it did stop Kuro from laughing for a moment. Oh, and what is this? The younger smirked, and a small chuckle escaped his throat. Stop laughing at me! His grin widened. Make me. Without so much as a second of hesitation, Bokuto pressed their lips together in a passionate kiss. There was a surprised gasp from Kuro, and Bokuto immediately used the chance to deepen the kiss by sliding his tongue into his mouth. He should have known. Kuro should have known after almost one and a half years of being officially together that there was no use in teasing Bokuto in these ways. That the older wouldn't hesitate playing shy or stubborn like Kenma or Akashi. Still, it surprised him and Bokuto had given him no time to assess or predict his action. His face warmed as a dark blush spread on his cheeks. When they separated, Kuro was a flustered mess and Bokuto just grinned proudly. He actually managed to shut him up. What is going on down there? Akashi's words were slurred and morphed together, making them almost indecipherable. Don't know, don't care. Kema slowly climbed onto the bed and under the covers. He crawled to Akashi's side and snuggled closer in his arms. It was still Saturday morning, but the farmer said it had played all night and Akashi liked to sleep in these days, so they spent the morning cuddling together. Hmm? Just Bokuto and Kuro being stupid. Akashi grinned knowingly. Kenma always called them by their last names whenever they annoyed him. The raven haired closed his arms around the smaller and they fell asleep facing each other. Two weeks had passed since then and Kuro was ahead in the challenge by two points. Just for protocol, they counted Akashi's hoodies as well. He wasn't too far behind, but Kuro and Bokuto made an effort to position their hoodies in obvious places, wash them regularly and even go so far as to offer them to Kenma to win against the other. Two weeks and Kuro took the lead because Bakuto wasn't usually doing laundry. It was very surprising for Akashi and Kenma when he suddenly started but only his hoodies. They almost expected Kuro who would normally do this to take it personally but nothing happened. After three weeks however, their points were even again and after four a clear winner seemed to emerge. Oi, Kataro, have you counted Akashi twice? Hmm? No, why? 
Bokuto peeked out of the bathroom, still shirtless, with droplets of water running down his chest. For a moment, Kuro considered forgetting about the bed and doing something else. Bokuto had the unbelievable ability to look cute and hot at the same time, it should be forbidden, but decided against it. Look for yourself. He motioned to the list and observed him as Bokuto got closer. Kuro 9, Bokuto 9, Akashi 13. He frowned a little. Guess we have to be careful, otherwise Keiji is going to win this. Kao, Keiji isn't even in on the bat. The ace looked at him confused. Right. For the next few days, they observed the situation closely and put even more thought into their strategies. But no matter what they did, Akashi was always ahead. There was no mistake in their notes, no one was counted twice and Akashi and Kemma were still oblivious. It was frustrating and Kuro was sure he'd lose his mind soon if he couldn't figure out why. After six weeks, Akashi was so far ahead that there was no chance for him and Bokoto to even get close. Kuro 16, Bokuto 15, Akashi 31. How? Why? I mean... How? The former middle blogger stared at the list incredulously. Face it, Tetsu, he just loves Akashi's hoodies more than ours. There was a sad edge in his voice and his eyes were focused on the ground in the cutest, most heart-shearing expression he had ever seen. Kuro stared at his boyfriend bewildered. There must be something, some reason that would explain this. Anything to... The sound of laughter interrupted his thoughts and he looked up to find his two other boyfriends standing in the doorframe or rather holding onto it to stabilize themselves. Why are you looking like the world is about to end? Because you like Keiji's hoodies more than ours. Bokuto hadn't understood yet what was going on, but Kuro's mind was racing and realization dawned on his face. You knew! What? The others couldn't help but laugh again. Y yes sorry what but Bokuto looked at them with big puppy eyes. Kenma was the first to regain his composure and hugged him. Sorry Ko, but you made a bet on me. I had to get you back. He felt the hug tighten and a slight nudge in his side from the older. Akashi grinned at Kuro who was sulking in the background. He is right, you know. Besides, I'm a bit offended that you thought I wouldn't be a serious competitor. Akashi chuckled, took Kuro's hand and pulled him in a group hug with the others. So, Kenma? Huh? Whose hoodies are your favorites? The smallest looked up from the middle of the hug only to find three pairs of eyes staring at him. He felt betrayed upon meeting Akashi's gaze. My own. Come on, kitten. We know you're lying. He pouted before an almost dangerous smirk spread across his face. Well, in that case... The YouTuber got up slowly, took one hoodie from each of them as if considering his options before... I'll never tell. He ran off. It took the other three a couple of seconds before they jumped up and followed him. And that was it for the video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I hope you enjoyed it. And leave a comment with, with an idea or a video you want to see next on this channel. Also, this, as I mentioned before, started as a headcanon on my Instagram, so if you want to see more of my headcanons, just follow me there. 
And I started a TikTok account with just haiku related content where also part of it is just me acting out some of the headcanons. So if you want to see that, you can check it out and have a wonderful day.